Welcome back. It's the closing stages of the women's road race here in Valkenburg. And the two big uh, protagonists in this group of five are at the back at the moment. Marianne Voss, once a world champion in, uh, in 2006, and ever since then has been second place. Silver medal for her. She's on home ground now with home supporters in fine form, working hard. She wants this race. She wants those rainbow uh, bands around her chest. Behind, Alicia Longo Borghini is playing the canny game. Well, the Italians certainly have a good uh, record of World Championship medals. I think they've won the last four or five World Championships. Mm -hmm. five, Two for Bronzini, five. one uh, for Goderzo. Uh, Goderzo. Uh, Bastinelli. So they've had it. They have a. Uh, a real special way of pulling it all together for the World Championships. We saw they were very quiet in the first half of the race, but when it comes to the business end of the race, they seem to always be there. They just unite as a team. And every time at the World Championships, we say that Italy's going to pull something off. Alicia Longo Borghini is sitting in the wheel tracks of Marianne Voss, who's got every tail feather she could possibly muster shooting straight up into the air because she has, she gave everybody a bit of a kicking except for Alicia Longo Borghini on the last climb of the Coburg. They're going to finish this time around. But Longo Borghini, I don't know, Sean, a little bit, uh, a little bit canny. Look, they've got so much time to play with here. They're beginning to now sort of mess it out around a little bit. She knows who her, her main rival is. And uh, Longo Borghini putting the hand up to get the car up, made it, it allowed her to get to the back of the group. Oh, clever. Can, you can do this, Sean, when you've got two, two riders in the team. Of course you can. It's the big advantage when you have uh, two in a group of five riders. It's, uh, it's a magnificent position to be in because then you can just send one of your riders uh, in the attack. Because, uh, uh, you know, the interesting thing, Anna van der Breek, and she has been, you know, committed 100% uh, for Marina Voss. She's just continued on setting the pace here. And it wasn't really attack. She was just, you know, taking up the pace in the front. But the interesting one is that Longo Borghini was just keeping Marianne Voss uh, in her sight, just sitting in a wheel or keeping her just in front of her. And uh, we will see as we go to the final time of the car, well, that cut that left hander into the bottom of the climb. We will see Longo Borghini. She will be glued to the wheel of Marianne Voss because they're all going to be waiting for this big attack, as we are. I wonder. The, the drama builds. I wonder. And we've not whether. said much about Rach Nalen, the Australian. She's a she's a dark horse here. Nobody knows her really well, but uh, I know her quite well, obviously being Australian. And she's definitely got the talent to pull this off. She's uh, power climbs is also her thing. She's a really hard worker. And this year she um, had some problems with her team, Nutrixion, and uh, she was even without a bike just a couple of I think a few weeks ago. So. She's not given up. She's been a little bit of a fighter. She gained selection for the first time into the World Championship team, and she's proving her worth here today. Come on, Australia. <laughs> Do you know everybody in Australia? Yes. <laughs> well, I think uh, if we look at the five riders, Marina Voss looks to be the strongest one, and uh, the last time on the Coburg, it was Longo Borghini, who was the one who was really able to match her. Again, things can change, you know. Uh, a lap, uh, a lap earlier, we can see a different situation, but Mariana Voss is definitely going to try and break up this group because she cannot allow to come to the sprint with five people because then it's going to get very tactical and who's going to you know, lead out the sprint and somebody can attack you from far out. So guarantee Mariana Voss will attack. But again, will, uh, will Borghini, uh, Longo Borghini be there to match her? And if she does, she's going to just sit on that wheel and will Mariana Voss continue on? We could see the case where they will be rivals if they start looking at each other. The riders will come back as we have the Australian rider, Neil, and she could come back, and, and the other ones also. So we could see somebody coming from behind and maybe stealing a march. OK, right, it's time. One, two, three. Okay. Sean. One, two, three. Mariana Voss. Voss. Then. Longo Borghini. Longo Borghini in the bronze medal. Neven. Amber Neven. Rochelle. I'll go with Voss for the gold, Borghini for the silver, and Rach Nailing for the bronze. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick my neck out and go Longo Borghini as we go in here. 
Wait for it, wait for it, wait. Longo Borghini for the gold, Voss for the silver, Nayland for the bronze. Into the bottom of the Coburg for the last time. And uh, shooting up the left-hand side here is Rachel Nayland of Australia. Immediately Marianne Voss gets into the wheel and Longo Borghini just uh, laboring a little to get up to the wheel there. Both of them turn a fairly big gear. These are the three riders that all three of us have said will contest the medals. Uh, Neyman's got to just dig in hard here. We can uh, forget Van den Bregen. She's done her job magnificently. And now here goes the other attack. Here goes a kick again from Marianne Voss around the outside. Oh, that's dispatched. Uh, Rachel Nayland. Another crowd's gone ballistic here. Not with the finish. Where is Longo Borghini? She's nowhere. She's gone. Oh, she's going to ride to victory. Longo Borghini's exploded. Nothing left. And Rachel Nayland is hanging in here. She's just got to keep, keep going and see if they can get back to her. But there's no way back to the wheel of Marianne Voss. Oh, that was a big attack, and she's just completely knocked the stuffing out of everybody, Sean. Yes, well, uh, just again, uh, an impressive attack, just, you know, too strong for everybody, and, you know, everybody else just fighting there to try and keep uh, the distance to be a minimum to the time, the distance they're losing, but uh, Marina Voss just uh, much, much too strong for everybody else. Already sporting the gold handlebar tape and livery of uh, Olympic champion. It's going to be the most magnificent day for the uh, Netherlands. As Longo Borghini, who looked so strong following on the last ascent of the Kalberg, has just been blown out of the water. Marianne Voss, pound for pound, the best bike rider possibly the world has ever seen. This is going to win and the, the World Championships in front of her home crowd to add to her Olympic title. One and a half kilometres to go. And it's Rachel Nayland of Australia who looks like she's going to take the silver medal. An extraordinary achievement for such a young rider. Well, she's uh, Rachel Nayland's really been uh, preparing specifically for the World Championships. She wanted to uh, impress everybody and let them know what she's capable of, and she's going to pull off the silver medal here. But Marianne Voss, she's been training on the Kalberg at least once or twice a week for the since the Olympics, since she won her gold medal there at the Olympics. This is fantastic for the Dutch crowds. This is it. One kilometre to go is looming up ahead of her. Do you see that banner with the little red kite, the Flam Rouge? One kilometre, 1,000 metres separate. Uh, Marianne Voss, the home favourite and the world's greatest female cyclist, winner of the World Cup this year, as she has done for so many other occasions, but really, really nailing it this year, is going to ride home to be world champion six years after becoming world champion in Salzburg and having to exceed best place to everybody else in every subsequent world championship. She's got it. She's not even thinking about relaxing. She's going to drive this all the way until the last 20 kilometers. A magnificent performance, Sean. Yes, uh, an impressive performance, as we can see here. She, you know, she has the advantage and she you know, is getting to the line now, not giving it 100% because she knows she's got in the bag, as we can see. All three are going to come in individually for their medals. Just listen to the crowd. They've seen on the screen here at the finish line that Marianne Voss has less than 500 metres to go now. And however hard Rachel Nayland tries, she's never going to get back to the wheel of this remarkable lady cyclist. Pulls over to the other side of the road, takes the Dutch flag. She's got time to do it. Wait for it. Hands off the bars. Flag over the head. It's a world championship and the home nation for Marianne Voss. And if anybody deserved it, it's this young lady. Six years after triumphing as an amateur, she rides it as a professional, as the world champion here in Valkenburg. And the Dutch will love that. Rachel Nayland, that's magnificent ride. 11 seconds down, huge future for that young lady because this is a such a such a difficult finish. Alicia Longo Borghini takes the bronze medal, 18 seconds down, and Amber Neben will take fourth place. Anna van den Bregen, there'll be big, big uh, hugs from Marianne Voss to her teammate van den Bregen, who did a magnificent job to keep her up there, keep the pace rolling through. But I don't 
think I've ever seen, Sean, a rider so strong in a world championship race as Marianne Voss. She got in the leading group and she gave it death half the time. Yes, well, she got into the leading group, into the leading group with a magnificent attack and then wasn't afraid to, you know, uh, give it 100% to keep the pace really high and was walking when there were some of the other very dangerous, very strong riders sitting on. She had so much confidence there and just the best rider, the strongest in the end.